Kayla, please like and subscribe. It's time for Caleb's choice. His choice. His rules. With football ending, what's what are you guys gonna watch now? <laughs> that, that's a good question. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Try to watch more WWE. Mm-hmm. That's you get back saying. into that. Kind of fell off that bandwagon. Speaking of WWE, did you guys see the huge news? Mm-mm. Oh, I knew you did. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Maybe. Wait. So Cody did you hear Rose. About Netflix. Did you hear about Netflix, Craig? No, no. They oh. bought <laughs> WWE Raw. For what? Five billion, for five billion dollars. It's going to be on Start. Netflix starting January of 2025. Yeah. That's odd. That's yeah. yeah. Wow. That's would have never seen that one coming. So then, do you know who won the Royal the Royal Rumble? Wow, that's easy to say. The Rock. Oh, Cody Rhodes did. You didn't watch it. Cody Rhodes. No, I didn't. I haven't watched anything in a while. So Cody Rhodes won, so he can finish his story. Right? He's going to beat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. Then on SmackDown, he decided he's not, and he gave The Rock his shot to fight Roman Reigns. So okay, Roman versus the Rock, the Rock, yeah, is going to be at WrestleMania. Wow. Yeah. Does that mean that he's not going to win? I, I think he's going to fight Seth, and I don't think the Rock will win. Roman, the Rock, the Rock will win, won't win. I think Roman will beat the Rock, and Seth will beat Roman yeah. at SummerSlam. That's my guess. Okay, I think I part of that has Rock. to do with the ratings draw that the Rock can bring versus Roman, and if they don't do it now, it'll fall into obscurity like some of the other matches that they had when it came to. Um, that they just never got around to doing. And so I do think the timing is good, but I also think that also makes more money for them down the road when they put Cody versus Reigns. Uh, what would that, would that be, like four months, five uh, months down the road? So, yeah, okay. we'll see. That's I did watch a little snippet about uh, Cody was had Seth out there, was talking smack <laughs> yeah. to Roman. <laughs> I usually pop Anna in front of the TV, and it's WWE usually. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So, what are you going to watch now that res- our wrestling now that football's over, Caleb? I agree with Greg. I'll probably try to get into more wrestling. Hmm. Let's watch some more storylines. Yeah, that's the only thing week to week that I would watch. Like, is that what week. you mean? Like more week, like <clears throat> something regular yeah, that you're going to watch? Football is. Sunday, Monday, yeah. Thursday, Saturday sometimes. Yeah, I don't hardly ever watch the Saturday or Thursday games. I do love the Sunday night football, though. I never watch the Monday night game unless it's the Chiefs. Never. Um, yeah. You know, Honestly, you want to know what's going to happen? Is what? the Game Show Network is going to be on my television more now. We'll end up <laughs> watching like Family Feud and... Um, Whatever those other shows are. <laughs> I don't normally pay yeah. attention, so it, that's probably what's going to end up happening. But I do usually watch a little bit more wrestling as it builds up to WrestleMania. I don't know about you, Caleb. I kind of thought the Royal Rumble was eh. But yeah. this still is the best time of the year if you like wrestling whatsoever to watch WWE. So I probably will start watching that a little bit more. When baseball season kicks off, are you going to watch baseball? No. Or do you watch baseball? I don't anymore. I used to. Here's a problem I have with baseball and a lot of things in life, to be honest with you. So many activities in life take so much time. And baseball has 162 games. And, yes, Mm -hmm. you don't have to watch every single one of them. I totally understand that. But when the Royals suck as much as they do right now, why would I spend a second of my time either – spending money on it or just like away from my friends, you know what I mean? Or doing things I like. I so no, I don't really watch it. I feel the same way about the NBA. I think it's horrible. I don't watch that either. What so. you hear with the NBA just change? They change the rule on how many games you can play? No. I've got I've got what it is now. Uh like a minimum of 82. Well, a minimum of if you don't play, I forgot what the minimum uh is it 82 season. Yeah, it's 82 season. I think you have to play like 
if like 60 or something if you don't play 60 games you're not eligible to be part of you're not eligible for the awards of like defensive player of the year or oh hey river like I don't know what he's doing, but dang. <laughs> he, want, my lap. he wants to talk. <laughs> he, saw, he saw Josh. Yeah. No. Well, I think um, that's a good yeah, I do too, because they keep setting people down, and it's just dumb. I don't understand why yeah. they do that. It's just, you know, I, I don't want to be the old man that says back in my day, but, you know, if you were in, say, <laughs> Portland, Oregon, and you wanted to see Jordan play, when the Bulls came to town, you bought that ticket, and I promise you, Jordan played, unless he was, like, out, out. Like, he wasn't missing a game. He might be missing, like, two or three weeks or something. Like, he was hurt, hurt. And yeah. people don't play 82 games anymore. It's like, what do they call that? Like, longevity? Like, they're sitting them down for – it's some weird thing. So yeah. that It's basically so they can make it through the season. You're telling me – the money that you make and all the training you put in, that your body can't make it through an 82-game season? They have since the history of basketball. Like, why yeah. now is that different? So, okay, what's the next one, Caleb? What was the last movie you watched, and did you like it? <clears throat> last movie. Uh, last one I literally watched was The Matrix, the first one. Very first I, again, yeah. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, I did like it. <laughs> Was it as good as you remember? <laughs> uh, yeah, I had actually watched it maybe three weeks prior when Sean and the kids left, and it was just me and Anna. I watched all the old the trilogy. I watched the whole trilogy, and then I randomly watched, watched it again. <laughs> I have to uh, <laughs> Google it because I don't know the name of it. I did watch the Lord of the Rings, so right. I was going to start watching those again oh. right before that one. Because there's no good new movies. Nerd. No. <laughs> yes. Those good old Bilbo movies. Baggins. So I was going to tell you, Caleb, that the last movie I watched, it was something about this kid named The Hill or whatever. And then I Googled it. And actually, the name of the movie is The Hill. And it's the true life story of a baseball player. I believe it was in the 60s. might have been 70s that um, was really good, but he got hurt. And so he didn't get to do the tryout. He like broke his ankle on a sprinkler head in like a game right before this tryout. And so he had like six weeks to get healthy. And he went to the tryout, and of course he couldn't run. And, and apparently this is a true story, okay? And so the scouts didn't want to watch him hit. So he went into the other field with some of the other players that really weren't keeping an eye on. And the baseball diamonds were backed up like this, the outfields. And he was hitting yeah. home runs into the other baseball <laughs> stadium until the somebody finally said, well, somebody go figure out what's going on over there. And so he went up to the head scout and he said, listen, you're not going to play. You're not good enough, blah, blah, blah. And to prove this kid wrong, because he was sure that he could be a major leaguer, he said, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. In tonight, tomorrow's exhibition game, you're going to be the DH for both teams. And we'll get a long, good look at you and see how good you really are. And I won't tell you the rest. But it was a pretty good movie. I didn't love it, but it was he, pretty good. I was thinking that player had like a bone disease. He did. He had it. No, he did. Okay. Um, and he ended up – that ended up cutting his career short too because – Okay. That and because it did something to his spine, but I, th I tried to look it up after I watched the movie. I believe he's still alive, but there is pictures of him as an old, older, like older than me. So I believe it was my, maybe it was in the seventies. Actually, you know what? It might say it right here. Um, no, it doesn't say the years. <laughs> gotcha. It's on Netflix. Is it? I'm going to check that out. Yeah. Uh, Dennis Quaid is that kid's dad. Dennis Quaid. Oh, gotcha. He's in... Wasn't he the rookie? The pitcher in the rookie? Mm -hmm. in the movie? That was one of my favorite yeah. baseball movies. And it's a true story also. I mean, I think yes. it might have been embellished a little bit, but... I like that, that high they school coach. They don't do that in Hollywood. They don't what? Oh, what? embellish? They don't yeah. embellish in Hollywood. No! 
No, but that high school coach yeah. actually did pitch for the Rays, and it did happen yeah. in Texas and all that sort of stuff. So I think they embellished a little bit, but maybe not too much. <laughs> what was your last movie, Caleb? Yeah. The new Flash movie. Ooh. Oh, was it called? Was it any good? It was awful. No. You didn't like it? No. Did you like it? I did. Yeah. I thought I was going to hate it, honestly. What did you not like, like about it? it? I thought the storyline was all jacked up. The time going but, into... But that's uh, the Flash. Yeah. That's what he does. Yeah, was, the TV version of the Flash is a whole lot better. That is a good one. But, but yeah, I didn't like it. You don't like him going back in time and phasing and stuff? Killing Batman every time? That's not cool. I haven't seen well, it, Caleb. Is that why? <clears throat> that's why. You, you, you got tired of seeing it. Michael Keaton. Oh. I'm not going to watch Michael. it. Go ahead. Michael yeah, Keaton. It was the Michael yeah, Keaton was cool. Batman. I mean, he was in it a lot, but he kept killing him. What well, idiot! <laughs> I mean, he was he was uh, he was coming out of retirement. He was old, and uh, he was still badass. But and he didn't give a shit if he died. No, he was just going for it. He kept. But Barry had to save him. Timeline and screwing everything up again, and it was just. Yeah, he kept going back and forth. <laughs> Quit going back, like, idiot. Like, crap, he died again. He just... <laughs> you know, whenever I first saw him cast, whatever his name is, as The Flash, and mm-hmm. I saw the first movie he was in, I thought, hey, this is a pretty good deal. I just feel like that guy gets cheesier and cheesier every time I see him. Like, He's more comic that... relief than anything. Yeah. That, well, yeah, that guy's not a... I don't... Yeah. You heard the story about him, right? Oh, yeah. Like, He's yeah. way out there. He has like an altar of himself that people have to pray to whenever they go to his house and things like that. Yeah. yeah. A little messed up. I can see why they shut down DC because of that uh, movie. <laughs> and they're restarting yeah. it because, damn. So you think the Flash movies will <laughs> kill... Wow. Yeah. Caleb's that man. That's you got the hate on. Though. After, after I, that movie, they they fired everybody because that movie sucked. Here's the one out of all those characters, I think they can all be recast. Okay, I think you can get a better Batman than Ben Affleck. I don't know who it is. Maybe it is Robert yes. Pattinson. He actually did a pretty good job. That on the was other good. One. It, was. it was. I think you can get a better Wonder Woman than Gail Gadot or whatever her name is. Um, she was good in it. Okay, but I think you can find that person. I you think can. you can get a better cyborg. I don't think that guy did horrible by any means, but you can find that person. I think you can find a better Flash. That guy, the first movie he was in, it was okay. After that, it kind of eh. yeah. But can you find a better set, uh, Superman than Henry Cavill? No. No. I'm telling you, no one is going to live up to that. There is no, no. way. And I'm... that sucks because I thought he did an excellent. When I saw The Man of Steel, and I people, I got a lot of hate for this. That's the best Superman I've ever seen. I agree. Whether it was Smallville, whether it was Christopher Reeves, what, whoever it was, that was the best Superman I've ever seen. And then they're just killing him off. And and honestly, I saw Black Adam here recently. Yeah. It just wasn't the last movie I saw. And I actually thought that wasn't bad. Like, I'm way behind because I know it came out a little while ago. But the last and the ending credits where those two talk, that could yeah. have been a movie in itself. And yeah. I think they just ruined it. And I don't know that I can watch another Superman movie, to be honest with you, because I feel like Henry Cavill is like him. the best. Who did they He's, recast him to? Do you know? Someone I don't even know. I yeah. Know I may be done with that I, franchise. I may not watch anymore. I'm telling oh, you. you got to go back. You can't let the past be the past. No. Just like the Flash. No. <laughs> don't go back in time. Just can't go forward. Hey, Chris, Chris Keep Chris running, Reeves. Barry. Superman was in the new Flash movie. Yeah, he was. <laughs> That was Nicholas Cage's Superman. Christopher Reeves been dead forever. <laughs> he came weird. back. CGI. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah, Henry Cavill though. Yeah. I Like I gotta. I want to look at these movies. It's like if you know the comics, like the, if they play the part of what the comics want to portray. That's how I view it. See, well, here's and the I, thing though. It doesn't even have to be like the comics, right? I mean, it doesn't have to you be. have like this background and this and that. And you don't want to be stupid with it, mm-hmm. but you can write your own story. Mm-hmm. But no one's going to be better at Superman than he is. No one. No. But, There's no way. But the problem with when they recast these superheroes, they always start at the very beginning and retell the damn story. Yeah, I don't need <laughs> to know, know about Batman's parents again. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah, everybody knows like, that one. 
do they do that with save Martha? Did they do that with Robert Pattinson's <laughs> Batman? I don't remember. Don't yes, they did. They? Did they? They, they uh went over they it. Mentioned it, but they didn't I think show they, it though, did they? Um, I think they did. I think they did. Yeah. Hey, who's a better Joker, Heath Ledger, because or Joaquin Phoenix? Now that Joker though. Uh, oh, well. Here's the thing. Well, I think Joaquin Phoenix played a better portrayal of how the joker of like who a the more joker why is realistic joker yes like if there was a he, joke yeah, i agree with you 100 percent. i thought he did a great it, job but it, i it heard the gritty. second one that's coming out is a musical yeah uh, that's a little odd you're not gonna watch it if it is i'm sorry you can't go from the joker to a musical i just i can't well, the theory behind I, i'm gonna the watch it that all that was in his head the beginning the first the, one the first movie yeah the first movie of mm, the joker was maybe all see that's head. why I don't think it's good. Like it's an origin it's story. Good. It's an I origin think story. Heath is better. Heath played the bet like the best villain, villain to Batman. Yeah. Joaquin played the that, best. Was a Dark Knight or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I think that was more about Heath than it was Batman. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I think so too. Because you already but had the or, original, like the origin story of Batman before that. And it was just another yeah. villain, but it, you have to get the background story of the villain, I think, to get it to work out. Yeah, yeah. All right, Greg. All right, my last. Oh, that's you have that? one more. Oh yeah, sorry, that was more. only two. I got us off track yeah. with all the other side comments. Yeah. Would you rather fight a shark or a gorilla? <laughs> fight a shark or a gorilla? Uh, shark for sure. Did Holly text Holly. you this and ask you to ask this question? No. Do I get a gun? Why, why, why do you say shark? Well, if At I were... I thought shark, but go ahead. Uh-oh. Um, well, I do know that if you're in the water, like a great white or just any shark, a great white, white shark, because if you're in the water, they say if you stay facing them the whole time and never stop looking at them, they won't attack you. I'm not trying that. I'm not going to try that on a gorilla. <laughs> Oh, or am I no. going to run from a gorilla? I saw a video of a I'm little girl beating there. her chest at the zoo, and that gorilla freaking runs up there yeah, and cracks a glass. glass. And it was a yeah. little tiny girl, and all she did was look at him and beat her chest. I'm, I'm not saying face to face that mammoth okay, deal. We'll say they, that they're, they're, you have to fight them. Like they're attacking you. Which one are you going to fight? Um, I would fight a shark. Still, do I have a weapon? No. Oh. Shit, that's a tough one because a grill's gonna mess you up regardless. <laughs> I feel like there might be a chance with a shark, but not in the water. Like, yeah, I, I feel know. like you're gonna drown no matter what happens in a fight with a shark. Yeah, I think you're gonna die with either one of them, but I think the gorilla kills well, you faster. That's maybe that's thinking. what we're going for here. I'm thinking okay, I'll gorilla. fight the gorilla, and let it rip me in half, and yeah, then at least it'll okay. be over quick. I mean, if I a gorilla punched you in the face as hard as he could, your skull is going to break. It's just not, not going to be like you. you your your head got run over by a car. Okay. Yeah. Well, what if you had you just got dropped in the scenario? You get dropped right in front of a shark or dropped right in front of a gorilla. What would you choose? Gorilla. Really? Well, what's the difference be the between being head. dropped what? right in front of one and fighting one? Well, they're not in fighting mode, I guess. They're not in fighting mode. The shark, you can it's been proven that if you face that shark like Dude, that, it will swim away. A that gorilla's gonna attack you because... because and I face him, I'm probably still gonna die of a heart attack. <laughs> I well I'd rather still go beast with per, that scenario. Beast per minute's gonna be yeah. like three thousand of my heart's just gonna explode. <laughs> well, if you face a grill and flip him off, he's gonna kill you. I think the, what you're supposed to do with a gorilla is just like play fetal? dead. Yeah, fetal position, just lay there. And I've seen videos of them Ooh. like drag people off into the forest and then just finally let go and run away. But <laughs> if you go you fetal against chest. a shark, you're going to die. And <laughs> if there's one shark out there, I'm going to think maybe there might be another one. So if I'm facing that one, then there might be one behind me. I just don't. I, I don't want to die in the water. Oh yeah, the behind you. That would freak me out. Sharks aren't attacking people, but they might bite you to see what you are. 
Oh, that's what I'm thinking. You're going to bleed out. Oh, that's still, you. that to me, that's that's, is, a, that's an invasion of my privacy. That's attack. I'd rather just Don't bite me to see what I place. am. Because <laughs> when you, you do that, you're taking my leg. <laughs> yeah. Caleb could, could probably go with a gorilla. That's what I'm thinking. Caleb, he's going to go head to head with a gorilla. And then even match. rip my arms off and beat me with them. Yeah, then that <laughs> gorilla you, is going to Or maybe be. each have one of each. You both have an arm off each other. Well, what was that Rampage no. movie that The Rock was in where he had, like, pet gorillas? Uh, Caleb's going to turn that wild gorilla into his pet. <laughs> <laughs> Submit. <laughs> I am dominant. All right. So, that's all I got for which today. one did you pick, Caleb? Shark or gorilla? I'd rather fight the gorilla and die faster. All right. So we all have decided that we're going to lose we're both gonna fights, die way. and so we're yeah. going to just end it quicker. I'm hey, with that. Bleed out. You're going to bleed out or drown with the shark. That's going to take a little while. The gorilla is just going to crush your stuff. I actually dead. think you're probably going to drown. Yeah. I think you drown before you bleed out. Well, yeah. The gorilla still kills you faster than drowning. Ah. Uh, yeah. Either way, I don't. Just, hey, either way, you're paying your pain. Gorilla. Can we agree <laughs> with that? Yeah. Yeah, did you get this from the Flash show by chance? Oh no, but that's a good point. Do you know Gronk, what I'm talking about? Yeah, Gronk, Grog, Gronk, Gronk yeah. and Gronk. the shark. Gronk. No, we can remember. telepathically whatever. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but no, I have no idea what you're talking okay. about. Caleb, please like and subscribe.